Hi, my name is Melinda Elmer and I'm with Keller Williams and thank you so much for watching my video blog. Today I'm going to answer a viewer's question and today's question comes from Megan. Now she wants to know about supplemental taxes and what those are and if it's a one-time thing. So supplemental taxes come about when you purchase a new property. Now when you buy a property, the taxes that you're charged at are the rate that the old owner held the property in. So let's say for example you were to purchase a property but the seller had bought the property for a much higher price than what you're buying it for. You're going to be paying their old tax rate until they adjust that and then once they get an uh, adjustment with the county it takes them a couple of months to catch up. Once they do you'll get a supplemental tax bill which will adjust your taxes downward. If you're purchasing a property and someone has owned the property for a long time they may have very low property taxes and now you're going to be paying an increased amount. So initially you're paying a lower amount when you first purchase with your uh, escrow account and then once the county catches up with the property taxes then they'll give you a higher amount and then they'll send you a supplemental tax bill. You want to make sure to pay those on time and get that in. Now let's say for example you get a tax bill and it shows up and it shows from a tax period from before you purchased that property. If you get one of those, the previous owner is responsible for those taxes, not you. So make sure to contact me and I'll be happy to help you get that straightened out so that you're not responsible for those property taxes. Now it is a one-time correction that happens, but it does take the county a little while for them to catch up with the transfers that happen. Now there is also some forms that's going to come to you in the mail when you first purchase your home and part of that is the homeowner's tax exemption. You want to make sure you take the time to fill that form out and send that in so you're going to get a little bit of a tax break for actually owning the property as a home. Obviously you can't take advantage of that if you bought an investment property. If you have any other questions about property taxes, feel free to give me a call. I'm happy to help. You can reach me anytime at 562-316-2915 or melinda.elmer at gmail.com. Feel free to reach out anytime. If you know someone who's looking to buy or sell, please pass this video on to them as well. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.